Thanks here from Pop Alternative speaking to Gabriel Davenport about Thanksgiving, which is now in theaters. He plays Scuba. Welcome to the show, man. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Ah, dude, I was we were talking a little bit before we started. We did we did like the pre-interview, right? Now it's the real yes. interview. That's the real one. That's the real one. The pre-one was pretty dope. I mean, you know, I'm sure it's been just just a little crazy for you this last week or so. Just a little, right? <laughs> yeah, just a little, just a little, just a little. <laughs> You know, very first big movie, you know, just come, just getting thrown it, at it out the bat. So I mean, bit. you know, this movie is like the movie theater movie. Like, this is what going to the movies is all about, man. Like, I had yes, so much fun yes. beginning to end. Yes. What are some of the things going through your mind besides it being kind of Eli Roth, a slasher horror? Are you thinking about that? Are you conscious of the audience member going to see it? Or is that kind of happened a little bit after you wrap the movie? I think it happened after the movie because when we first, like when I first booked it, I didn't realize how big it was till yeah. like closer to the end. And I was like, oh, this is like massive. Not even like the people that are in the movie, like Patrick, Addison, Rick, Milo, but like just the fact that like people have been wanting this film for years and like hardcore. And then other people on top of that now seeing the the, the, the trailers and all that stuff are getting amped up. And yeah, this is that movie you want to go see in the movie theaters because you get the scare, you get the jump, you get the, like that, that's exactly, this is exactly where you go to the, why you go to the movies for these types of movies. Yes, literally. And you know, this movie is 15 years in the making, right? Cause the grindhouse okay. and the Thanksgiving and everything. Um, the thing I love about this movie is it's so funny at times, but keeps it's like serious slasher kind of identity as well. Do you know what I mean by that a little bit? Yes, yes. <laughs> I think that's what makes it like those good classic slashers, right? You still have a bit of comedy and you have that scariness to it. So you're not too afraid and terrified, but you're also like enjoying this the the, the movie, right? A lot of people, when you go there, you're actually going to have fun and actually like want to watch it again for the second time. Yeah. Are you a fan of horror movies? Or does Gabriel Davenport enjoy <laughs> horror movies? See, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I've watched them, but I'm like, I'm a big chicken, bro. I'm like, I don't But are you getting into them now more because you're in them? No, I'm still that <laughs> shit. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still scared, man. And that's I'm still, actually <laughs> hilarious <laughs> to think about because some of the scenes that your character is in yeah, are some of the most terrifying scenes of all bro, time. You know what's funny? I, there are certain scenes I still look at them like, ooh. I don't know. I, and I know it's coming. I'm like, ooh. And I know what happens. And I'm like, nah, and I want to see it. I, I always turn away. I mean, I, I don't think we can all look, we can ever look at Corn on the Cob again the same after this movie, right? Oh my gosh, bro. You don't even know the comedy. We have a group chat, me and me and all the cast, and bro, you don't even know the Corn on the Cob is a freaking staple right now, dude. That's we so just, crazy. We keep sharing it. We keep making fun of Jenna. Oh my it's God. It's hilarious. so crazy. Yeah, because I had Jalen on the show, and he also told me that there were some pranks on set involving clowns and everything. Yeah, bro, Jenna's, like, the biggest scaredy cat on the planet, bro. You put anything, like, scary in front of her way, that's it. It's game over. But, again, it's the funniest thing because you are all in, like, the scariest scenes of all time. Like, I, I know. I, honestly, I find that so ironic. interesting. I love it. It's <laughs> but, very ironic. Okay, were there some scenes, though? Because, like, you, you talked about watching the playback, right? You're like, oh, I, I can't see them. But, like, when you're in there acting, like, you're in the zone, right? Like, it's game time. You know yeah. what I mean? And a lot of yeah. it happens afterwards. So maybe you're not thinking about it, but were there some scenes that were scary to film? Like, did it feel scary, scared, like, or was it just watching the playback? Hmm. Definitely the dinner scene. The dinner yeah. scene definitely was terrifying, bro. Because, like, when <laughs> you put yourself in that zone as Scuba, as the character, and then you're also terrified as Scuba, but you're also getting terrified as Gabe. Because you, even though you know it's a film... The way they put the atmosphere and the way, and especially Eli, he loves to do this thing. Like when he's shooting, he he slows down his voice and gets really quiet. And he's yeah. like, "Okay, guys, this is the atmosphere." Oh, you're right. <laughs> okay, whenever you're ready. And then like you just feel this creepy tingling. Yeah. And so it really puts you in the in 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 the environment. So you do actually get afraid. But then right as soon as you hear cut, you're like, "Oh, back to normal." Yeah, I know. And that I feel like that and that's such a magical thing on set, right? Like because I'm a creative as well, but like seeing and then seeing like the playback on Video Village and being like, We did that. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're like, bro, what? Like how did we do like bro, like even me like watching back my scene, I was like, How did I get there? Like that's crazy. Like yeah. I look good. I look like terrified. I look crying. I look I look so angry. Like I'm like, bro, how did I even do that? And I think back, I don't even remember. <laughs> you know, it's crazy because 
you make this movie, yeah. it okay. wraps, it's out of your hands because it's in theaters now. And you just kind of like, I'm sure there's like talk within the cast, like, wow, we're, like, we're all proud of the work. I can't wait for everyone to see it. There's some things people are going to love. Now it's out and the reception has just been incredible. Like, I feel like there can't, it's like the best feeling, right? Right now that you're feeling right it now? Is, it is, it is, it is. Because we, like, obviously we're hoping we, we do really well. And so far we're doing really well with the reviews and stuff. And the fans are going crazy. They love it. And we're doing our best to keep up with liking the comments and, you know, sending little, lo little love messages of thank you and this and that. So it is it is surreal. Like, obviously you get those reviews where they're like, ah, oh, you guys are all shit. You guys are horrible. <laughs> and then you're like, hey. Is what it is, you know. Like I, I don't know what I to tell you. Seen, like, I haven't seen it, those, it yet, man. I haven't, I haven't seen those. And I'm I really purposely, really... I purposely looked for them because I wanted to see <laughs> if they at least constructive. Like, hey, here's where you guys could have did it better. Did it not? It's just straight like y'all are trash. It's like, damn, bro, who hurt you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, it's just like the keyboard warriors, man. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Like, bro, who hurt you, man? Like, at least give me some credit. Like, something I could be like, okay, you know what? I could take that and put it into the next Let's film. not focus no, on that. Let's focus on the positive reviews because the reviews have been so good, man. And honestly, like, and I want to know, you know, Eli Roth, right? Like, I mean, icon, right? Like, like if you do a Mount Rushmore of horror movie icons, like he's up there, in my opinion. Like, he's one of the guys. Was it like a learning experience every time just speaking with him? Like, I feel like you learned so much just being like around him working, yeah. doing his thing, right? It, it was definitely a learning experience working with him, 100%. How, how critical and analyzing he is. How, uh, also working with like Patrick and stuff, working with Milo and Addison. But I, I I would say I learned a lot, especially from Rick, Rick Hoffman. Like, oh. he is, like, when he's on set, you're like, bro, what happened? Like, it's crazy. The energy he brings and the way he's just, he's just in it and on it. And he loves it. Like, I love that energy, too. So, definitely, yeah, you learn a lot. 100%. Yeah. And I saw, I think I saw, like, some BTS things. Was it your mom he was FaceTiming? No, no. So, it was Jenna's mom. It's freaking <laughs> hilarious. So, she's like, she calls him. She's like, my, she's like Rick, my mom loves you so he facetimed her and she didn't answer the first time so he's like wow so then he facetimed her again she answers and that's when you hear all the whole like yeah there's like a whole conversation and he's like addison brought us some delicious mediterranean food you want to see what it looks like <laughs> rick is so he's just that guy man like he if you meet him like he's so down to earth and i love it like he's he's not full of himself he's not up in the sky he's really just in it with us when you find that. when you find out that you booked the role, is there like research that you do in terms of looking at Pat like Eli's past work or looking at other kind of horror comedies or yeah, like holiday so you know, movies? You watch, yeah, hundred percent. You watch some of the films and you do your best to figure out what vibe and stuff is going for. But mostly, it's you read the script and you analyze every part of it to the best of your ability, especially what your character, what he's thinking, what he's going through, and you also have to leave room to be, um, what's the word? To be an like it to improvise, you yeah. have to leave that. So you kind of just read the script enough to get it, and then let it become real and breathe life into it. So you don't want to get too stuck where you're you're doing it the same way every single time. You can't change. You want to do it where you you could easily be fluid and move and do whatever and act the way you feel like you should act. And that's what I love about Eli too. He lets us. He knows we're supposed to come prepared come prepared. Like he's professional to that level. He's like, okay, I know these guys are gonna come prepared, and then he just molds it to the way he needs it to be and that's it a hundred percent and how does scuba read to you when you finish reading the script for it like because i got you know he's a bit rough around the edges you know like the like the the, the jock but like he's a good guy like i got that vibe from him in the movie like he's a good guy yeah he, he's a lover and a protector man he does his best to freaking try to protect his friends and help them out and you know keep evan cool and all that stuff but like Yo, John Carver is just John Carver. He's a little badass too. It's too okay, badass. So, going to so a little bit of spoilers now. I when we first meet everyone, the whole friend group, and you go into the store, uh, that's like one of the best. That whole sequence, the build up though, of you all in the car oh, going crazy. there, dude, crazy. that's like one of the that's one of the best scenes ever of a movie. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I, we all we all were like, bro, the moment they see that beginning scene, they're going to be like, holy shit. But smoke. even the build-up, though, right? Like, meeting all of you for the first time, and then you pulling in and going in the back of the store. Like, that whole sequence, even before the chaos in the store, right? That was, like, really well done, man. Like, the whole build-up. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Was that, were you, how long did it, because I feel like there might have been a lot of, like, bonding in those scenes, because everyone's together in the car, right? Like, how long did that kind of sequence take? 
Um, yeah, I won't well, like took a couple days because yeah. we had to do we had to do the first beginning part and then we had to do the part where we get towards the the right mark and then again a lot of extras so a lot of background moving parts that we had to get re- get done and um, just a lot of stuff. So yeah, it took a while even though it's such a small ish kind of scene. <laughs> It does like movie magic takes time, man. And it does a hundred oh a hundred percent. One scene, you know, people would say, like, I love that like two minute scene, and then people would say, like, thank you. That took a day. <laughs> yeah, it took four days. <laughs> um, you did work on Hotel for the Holidays, correct? Yes, yes. That was filmed in Ottawa. It was, right? Yeah. Yes. Were you um, when you work on a movie like that and you work on a movie like Thanksgiving, does the mindset change a little bit? Cause it's it or is it all storytelling for you specifically? A hundred percent mindset change. It is yeah. storytelling, but a hundred percent the mindset change. Cause this is a horror slasher film and you're playing a high school kid. Yeah. Versus Hotel for the Holidays, you're playing like a, a mature chef that's trying to get married yeah. and fall in love and build the fairy tale life. So it's like you come from one end to the other, you definitely have to change your mindset a hundred percent. Yeah, but you can take little bits and pieces of those characters and put them in Scooby. Because again, in that movie, I play a romantic person. In yeah. this movie, I do my best to be romantic as well, you know. And then in that yeah. movie, I'm also trying to impress people with my cooking. In this movie, I may not try to impress nobody, but I'm giving off that essence of like I I know what I'm doing and yeah. doing a good job, you know. A hundred percent. I know you 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 don't like horror movies that much, but I want to go back to the whole thing about the reason like I love them so much, and I feel like they're becoming because man, they're becoming like they've always been around, but like it's those are the movies to see these days, man. Like yeah. it's crazy, but like I kind of like to me because like there are three things I love the most, and I, and the reason why I love them is the same reason. So I love listening to heavy metal music because when I listen to heavy metal music, I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. Okay, when I, I love pro I wrestling, I'm a wrestling fan. When I watch pro wrestling, I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. I love horror movies because when I watch horror movies, I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. Like, I feel like I'm strapped in. And I'm just going into loop-de-loops, ups and downs, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I, like, here's, here's the thing, I don't really like horror movies, but if I get together with homies, I'll watch them. But you understand, you, un- you, under- you understand, you understand, you love it, yeah, you yeah. love it, you love being terrified, even though it's weird, because why would you love that, but you love it. Oh, dude, I did, um, I did a, uh, like, a haunted house on Halloween this year, and it was raining, and one of them was called The Shire, where it was like, you're in the woods, and these guys in, like, pig masks, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, are, like, chasing you around. But it was terrifying because it was raining, and they told the actors not to do anything because, so, but everyone, it was, like, muddy and slippery because you're outside. So you really felt like you were in a horror movie because you're kind of slipping, and you hear, like, ring, ding, ding, ding. And they're like, what is that? You're getting terrified. You're like, oh, shit, I got to get out of here. No, because they tell the actors not to, like, chase you because you're going to slip. But, like, you can't help but try to run away, but it's so slippery. <laughs> That's fucking dope. Dude, it was That's so funny, funny, man. And um, what is it also like uh, working on a movie that, like we said, we said genre bending elements where it's funny, it's slasher. Um, you get to work on a movie that ticks a lot of boxes. And I feel like that's the actor's dream, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. The holiday component, the comedy, the horror, the slasher. Like, is is that something you thought about as well when you wrap the project? Like, you're you're working on, like, a multi-element, like, elemental movie. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Because you, you this, there's the seriousness of it. Mm-hmm. There's the, the scaredness of it. There's also the comedy in it. And you have, and, like, looking, like, shoot during film and you have to find those moments in all of it and remember oh it's not too too funny oh it's not too too scary oh it is the very scary this moment oh it is very serious in this moment and then watching it back and you're like wow like we, we got all those parts so yeah like it is that film that really ticked a lot of boxes that we we weren't sure that it would and we didn't know if it like even some certain parts we didn't know it'd be funny yeah like for example um i guess a little little spoiler but uh in a certain scene i say um <laughs> What do I do? What do I do? And certain people find that funny because they're like, that's the realistic, that's the most realistic answer you could probably give in that moment because you have no idea what to do. So that's all he can think of saying. So, and then people were finding it funny. And then there's also people that found it very serious. Like, wow, that's so deep. Like, what do you do in that moment? So it's funny to see people find it, find that like the difference in it. 
Really? Yeah. Even though it's just little little line. I found the scuba line of all the plagiarism <laughs> hilarious. When I've been, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Everybody dies at that part. Everybody freaking dies at that part. It's a good part. That one and the dad part. I feel like Dude, those are the two. I, freaking love I think it. one of the funniest <laughs> things, like, and everyone in the movie theater was howling, dude, laughing, was with Milo and Jalen, where Milo the, the, comes the and hugs Mel and takes the jacket off. <laughs> yep, the jacket. That, I'm, I'm 100% sure that's improvised. That was because I remember the- I remember doing it uh, when we were there, and originally the jacket wasn't on, and then he put the jacket on in one scene, and then Milo just flicked it off, and then we were dying. We're like, "That's Dude, golden." The whole I'm just letting you know, like the whole I was in like a packed theater, and like everyone was yeah. laughing their heads off at that scene. Like it's a good there, scene, there were a few scenes yeah. that people were laughing really hard, but I think that was the one where people were really laughing hard. Like, and it's cool. <laughs> I can't wait to go see it again and like pick up uh, like new things. Like that, it's one of those movies where if yeah. you watch it again, you're gonna pick up things you didn't pick up the last time. You know what I mean? I I watched it fourth time so far, and each time I find a new thing that I'm like, bro, I read the script. How did I not even see this? Jenna with the contact <laughs> with her contact. Oh. Her contact. Oh. <laughs> and they're alluding oh. that something yeah. gross is gonna happen with the eye, right? Because it keeps showing. The yeah, contact. and then boom, and then you don't. Yeah, you don't. Th- and then <laughs> then you realize, like, oh shit! They keep showing the contact lens. You're like, something's gonna happen there. And then, dude, yep. the last thing too is like the chaotic scene in the march, right? The Black Friday sale and everything. You're like, oh my god! But dude, can we just talk about the parade? Like, what was that like filming the parade? That was like the most insane zero to one hundred in the best way possible. It was one of the, the funnest scenes to do and then to see all the action and to freaking be involved in all that and all the extras and everybody there and the chaos like it felt like we were in some call of duty movie when the chaos hit like, like it felt like it was like we're in like a war zone yeah it was was that that was a big spectacle right like that must have oh i'll tell you right? something pretty hilarious so during the, the there's a certain scene where somebody dies right yeah and these two little girls. Yeah. The funniest thing. So when we were shooting that. Spoiler alert they, for people. Yeah. Spoiler, spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. When, when we were shooting that, Eli, Eli, so at first, they didn't know what was going to happen. So Eli's like, like, shh. He's, saying, he's like, shh. The whole crowd's like, don't talk. Don't shh. And the moment it hits the guy, their blood just splats everywhere. And he's like, he's like, look, girls, girls, look, look, look. And they're trying not to look because it's splatting everywhere. And they're like, and it's, he's like, so he stops. He stops. He's like, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, we're done, we're done, we're done. And he whispers to the to the to the I guess the guy who's supposed to spray the blood. He's like, go, 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 because they're not paying attention. That it just splats all over them, and we were dying. And is that you know is that some of that in the movie? Like them not realizing? Yeah, a little bit, a little. You see them looking around, so it's freaking hilarious. And those they're the they're the cutest girls. They're so funny. They they've been in other horror films too, but they've never seen them. So they're probably not gonna see this till probably like when they're like eighteen or twenty. But like it's just so funny to see. And the, how, tur- how they the turkey mascot, the turkey mascot's exactly. toast. Oh, bro, that's He's dude. Bad. I I can't wait to see it again, and I can't wait for people to see it. And like, I know many people that are going to see it. Like, that's the best thing. Like, I'm talking to people, and everyone's going to go see it. I'm so happy for you and the cast, man. Thank you so much for coming on the show, dude. It was so great chatting with you. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for having me, man. Um, your Instagram account, if people want to keep up to date, what's the handle so people can check out uh, it- your your. At G Jesus, so G D E S U S, or you could type in Gabriel Davenport. That'll probably fi- pop up too. But yeah, that's my handle, man. Check me out. Hit me up. Uh, tag me and stuff when you go watch the movie. Dude, I'll the scuba them, I'll like hashtag. The scuba's handle is yeah. Like the hashtag the scuba <laughs> hashtag, man. Do the gifts. Let me know, bro. Scuba for president, twenty twenty four. No. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Pop Turner of YouTube.com slash Pop Turner. Previous episodes, you can of course catch Gabriel Davenport as scuba in Thanksgiving, which is now in theaters. Until next time, it's Gabriel and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. This has been an Autograph Communications production.